log the data starting. Yep, I think we've. Oh. There we go. All right, okay. Um, I've got to make this short. Evan will be cutting it off once it gets to 10 minutes, so I'm going to have to be ten. very quick. I thought we were doing five. I said five to 10. Oh. <laughs> All right, look, I want to address the concern. A couple of people have written to me and said that uh, the ceremony wasn't successful or the rings are evil, and uh, two, different, um, two different stories, but... I need to give a little bit of a background information as to why it is successful and it was. Now, look, we've told you about the fact the rock had explosions of white light and the UFO was over the top and the clouds were all sorts of things. Shafts came down, Sherman resonance increased a hundredfold. But over, we've got to think about this. When we went to Uluru last year, yeah, there was a part in the Northern Beaches group in Sydney that wasn't allowed to come, but we weren't vaccinated at the time and and no one still aren't actually and nobody uh, checked when we got to uluru we weren't banned from entering any food outlet no one checked on us we didn't have to sign on with a code nothing happened it was just there were little things around but it wasn't major and over the last year it really has been a massive division and as we said many times we're not making a judgment on the medicine part of this we're making a judgment on all the other things that happen and have happened over the year particularly to children and i want to just give some background to this i want you to go back well i can to when i was a teenager around the time of the vietnam war now if you look at the early 60s it was very much everyone did the same thing thought the same way and all of a sudden the war came up and people started to march in the streets and eventually the war was lost in the lounge rooms and on the streets. And of course, they've made sure they've covered those things and they've fixed up the media this time. But you've got to understand something, that out of this marching in the streets and out of the Vietnam War, the very worst things were happening in Australia at that particular time around the world. Out of this, for the next five to ten years, there was a sort of a peace and love hippie movement and lots of people said they were going to change the world and that we had all these protests about what was wrong, but no real direction about what was right. So it was a negative protest. It didn't have a positive aspect to it, nor a guideline. But there was a period straight after this unrest where the best in humans came out and the word love was mentioned a lot and peace and all those sorts of things and John Lennon put out a song called Give Peace a Chance and it resonated and it resonated in the media and all those sorts of things and it led to the change of that war. But that was then. You've got to look now and I watched a protest in Melbourne where they had a camera there and one hour and eight minutes they put the camera in one spot and had to wait one hour and eight minutes for the protest to pass that. That never happened before. And the protest, the one that was 100,000 people in the streets of Sydney was a one-off. This is happening every week. You've got to understand something. The Hoppy spoke of the fast-flowing river that we should jump into. The Mayan spoke of the two roads. They weren't there before. It's clearer now. It's much clearer than it was a year ago. There was just bits and pieces of some forms of oppression and a little bit of an override. In fact, in Uluru was the time when Jetstar and the Northern Territory conspired to destroy the, con the, the, the ceremony and worked together and lied about the fact that the people from Sydney were all locked down and they weren't, and that 50 people would be coming to examine and find out and check them out tomorrow, and they never came. And Jetstar said there'd be no more flights coming out of Sydney, and the next day they changed it again. These lies were made then, and that was the beginning of the lies and the manipulation and the mistrust we hold towards those people in control. Since then, they've stepped way past that. And you've got to understand, Mesrev called that a gift. And I believe it is. Because you can't lance a boil until it's there. What is happening now in these protests? I went to one in Ballon and there were 5,000 people. And there were two things I remember. Number one, many people were vaccinated. Many people were vaccinated. And when they walked down the streets, no one screamed, no one yelled, no one had offensive posts. They just walked down the streets, came back, and then broke up. 
And it was a time where people joined together in a, somewhat tribally and united by one thing. And it was about the fact that our children and the, the, the oppression that's taking place, our children are suffering the oppression that's taking place and the loss of individual freedom. That to me is the focus of this, just like it was over 50 years ago. But there's a difference this time because we're offering to that another part of the equation that wasn't there before. We're offering you what the indigenous people around the world said about a time of transformation and renaissance when people would have to make a choice and walk down one of two roads. Now, if you walk down the road uh, where you are fighting for individual rights, you're fighting against what is wrong, it doesn't matter about the other part with your arm. That's not the issue and that will not be the deciding point when it comes to what we think is going to happen in relation to past the third ceremony, the second one's coming up in December this year, well it is December, December the 22nd or 21st, depending on where you are, 22nd for us, and we are starting at 2.30 and leading to 2.59 in Sydney, because that's when the solstice is there, and people from the round world, yes I know Uluru is at a different time, but where that's not where we're at this time. And we're asking people to join us, not to march, not to make a political statement, not to make an economic statement, to make a spiritual statement. And I want to quote Keanu Reeves who said, this change will not be social, it will not be economic, it will be spiritual first. And this is what this is about. The fact that things have got much worse, yes, they have, markedly so. Markedly so. People are, are now not being forced, literally, and thrown on the ground to do something they may not do, but being told if you don't do it, you lose your job, you get kicked out on the streets, your family suffers. There is so many invasions of individual rights and freedoms that are taking place. This is what this group does, and this is now what's happened. So, no, there has not been it's not a bad thing that people now are joining together and saying this isn't right. It's a good thing. And would it have happened if this gift that Mesmerich refers to hadn't been foisted upon us? No, it wouldn't have. Now there is a fast flowing river and there are, is the shore. There are two roads to walk down. You can abuse people because you don't like them, you fear them and you say bad things about them. Or you can respect everyone. And really, that's the road. Which way do you want to go? So look, ladies and gentlemen, I will make the point. It is not. A, there's a lot of bad things about what is happening, but there's some magnificent things taking place too. So no, the person who said this, this ceremony didn't work because look how bad things are, I say to you, look how good things are too. We are now, people are banding together and saying this is wrong. They weren't doing that before. And when people walk together united, it makes them stronger and makes the change, brings it closer together. So no, ladies and gentlemen, join us on the 22nd or 21st. Go to our links, which Evan has uh, set up there somewhere, and it is free. We are paying a lot in. We're going to be advertising this. There's a wonderful lady by the name of Gabrielle who's given us amount of money we're going to use to help advertise this in all the social medias and we're going to put it up in the Byron Bay Echo and a local paper around here, putting up a half page ad there. And we will be advertising and using all the avenues we can to try and get the millions that came before. Knowing my 10 minutes is nearly up, I'm going to say goodbye now. I'll be back soon. I'll be doing shorter talks like this. It was going to be five minutes, but I just tricked him so he'd set it up early. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And we'll be back soon. And please come and join us because it is the most important ceremony last year. And the two that follow complement this after that, the change will be upon us. We'll see you soon.